What did Margaret Thatcher say? What did Margaret Thatcher say? Whatever happened to don't judge a book by its cover? This is why people are doing goon caves. For this reason. You gotta put a warning. You gotta put a warning where you're gonna put Mildred up on the screen, okay? Oh, I'm woke and I'm nice and I care about the LGBT and all of this stuff. But he is truly rotten to his core. Okay, so she released this video and it's called the male loneliness epidemic. Okay, basically, I think it's linked to this kind of tweet. Every other month, people see something like this and panic. Where are the leftist Andrew Tates, right? We, I think I looked at this on the stream. Anyway, she tweeted this out. She's then released a video about the male loneliness ep epidemic. And obviously, everyone on Twitter has lose their mind about it. And rather than just watch the video and engage with what she says, which I'm about to do. Instead, everyone is going on about how, oh, it's men's fault that men have got problems, to put it simply. I'm sure you've seen the discourse about it, right? Here we go, here's a couple of examples. Like, okay, I spoke a bit about this earlier, okay? I spoke a bit about this earlier. Why is it that people act so fucking retarded when it comes to this? Who is we? Society. What do you mean, who is we? What, what do, when we say we, you know, have failed or not done a disservice to a broad social group, who do we normally mean? We mean everyone. We mean collectively as a society. Have we failed black people? Have we failed LGBT people? In those contexts, everyone would be on board. Oh, you must mean society. But now, now it's for men. It's, oh, no, nothing to do with me. Oh, no, not we, not me. I'm not involved. Literal fucking. What did Margaret Thatcher say? What did Margaret fucking Thatcher say? I've told you about woke Thatcherism before. I told you about this shit. I've told you it's called woke Thatcherism because that's exactly what fucking Margaret Thatcher said. Margaret Thatcher rejected the idea of society, right? And said, actually, there is no society. We're all individuals and families. That's it. There's no society, okay? That's exactly the mentality of Margaret Thatcher. And these people invoke this when the subject of fucking men's issues come up. All of a sudden, there's no society, okay? We're all individuals individuals of our own account and men should fix their own problems and take responsibility for their own issues. Pull themselves up by their fucking bootstraps to sort these issues out. It's so frustrating to me. These people turn into the most fucking vicious, individualist, fucking lib, fucking conservative fucks you've ever seen when the, when the fucking subject of men's issues come up. When it's women's issues or blacks issues or trans issues, we've got all the time in the world to talk about all the societal issues and oh, isn't it a shame how black people, trans people, gay people, blah, 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 are put upon by society and we've all got to collectively work together to figure it out, which I agree with, by the way. I don't disagree with that sentiment at all. However, when it's men's issues, that suddenly disappears. And actually, men have got to fix their own fucking problems. It's insane to me. You don't understand the pleasure it gives me to see these men crying and depressed. Imagine losing in the world that is literally built for you. It's 2023, you stupid fucking bitch. Imagine saying this in 2023. Why is it that men are so responsible for the action? It feels like men are responsible for every single bad thing that a man has ever fucking done in their life. Not so for other social groups, is it? Not so for other social groups. But men, you, yes, you, men, you are responsible for everything. And you have failed in a world bill for you. What a fucking subhuman piece of shit scumbag you are. So stupid, man. Men are subhuman and the loneliness can't be cured because they can't relate to actual human beings. <laughs> okay, okay, that's an interesting one. These men are 100% the most misogynistic demons on the planet and deserve every bit of loneliness they feel. I love the fact, I love the fact that even though I don't even know if that's what the point that she's video is making, which we're about to watch, okay? This 
absolutely this mentality a hundred percent fuel they'll turn around and criticize people like andrew tate you're fucking responsible you're responsible for this if this is your fucking attitude okay you're responsible for every single rape that andrew tate has fucking committed okay i'm saying how it is now i'm sick of this bullshit absolutely you are fucking responsible you have fueled this you have led to this shit this is your responsibility okay it's sickening to me how these freaks get away with this shit because apparently it's woke to just shit on men, apparently. Try this with any other fucking social group and see what happens. But men, cleared for takeoff, apparently. Anyway, let's actually see what Shu had to say about this whole fucking situation, shall we? I regret to inform you the men are not okay. That's right, folks. The men are not okay. The men have no friends, no girlfriend, no college education, no money, are breaking their legs and inserting metal rods into their bones to be a few inches taller, Jesus. and listening to AI Batman help them overcome their pornography addictions. You deserve real love. Turns out the society <laughs> that was built by and allegedly for men has indeed let them down. Now you might be thinking, oh look, another boo-hoo poor men video by Shoe on Head. Yes. And if you have a problem with that, tune into literally anything else. That is so true, though, right? Is people are like, oh, my God. You yeah, because fucking everything else is not sending that message, right? There's so many fucking people out there. Obviously, the red pill, there's tons of that shit. OK, there's tons of that shit on the red pill. I'm at the point now I'm not interested in these party fucking politics that people do. Oh, we need to have more people on the left that are amenable to men's issues. OK, it doesn't even need to be a fucking political thing. It doesn't need to be that someone on the left or the right needs to speak up for some of these issues. Anyone, anyone, regardless of your fucking politics. OK, you could be the most normy fucking centrist fuck going. OK. Just speak on this stuff a bit. And you know what I mean? It doesn't need to be, oh, we've got to make space on the left for this. Anyone, anyone can fucking do this, regardless of what your political views are. Men are in a crisis and it seems nobody really cares. And the people who do care just seem like the people who want to sell them shit. Not me. I'm different. So before we get into this, let's quickly get into today's sponsor. <laughs> Today's sponsor is Holtzkern. Holtzkern is a young Austrian company that designs unique crafted watches and jewelry made from all natural materials. Their high quality timepieces come in various designs for both men and women, making them the perfect gift for any occasion. They're a great blend of function and fashion, and overall I just think they look very classy, especially the men's watch collection. I was pretty impressed with the silver casing and blue marble dial of the naturalist. Yeah, I don't want I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna go against the sponsor, okay? By all means go and have a look, okay? By all means go and have a look if you want. I personally, if they've got watches with numbers on, I'm I'm there, okay? Let's have some old school number, not this fucking Roman numeral shit, okay? Let's get some proper numbers on there and I'm with you. Watch, which made for a great gift for my boyfriend. He especially loved the casual yet stylish appearance, making it an ideal choice to wear both at work and at home. I'm also really happy with the watch I picked out. It's made from black and white marble and features a nice black leather bracelet that just feels- Wait, were they not Roman numerals? Oh, is it just this design with the times? Yeah, okay. You know what I mean, though, right? I mean, obviously, it's, you know what I'm getting at. Numbers are better than fucking numerals or whatever this is. So comfy. They also create elegantly crafted earrings, very unique handbags, sunglasses, and necklaces, like this rose marble elevation Ooh, necklace. It makes a nice. really memorable and unique gift for a loved one. All of their products have a 24-month warranty, and ordering online is super easy with free shipping to the US and most EU countries within two to five days. So if you want to get yourself a go, good guys, quality see? watch and support the channel, I highly recommend checking out their store and clicking the link in the description below. Use my special code SHOE15 at checkout that will give you 15% off for all Ooh, products store-wide. So go to bargain. the link down Lovely. below and choose your own unique piece of nature. Thank you Holtzgren for sponsoring this video and thank Thank you, the viewer, as always, for not skipping the ad. Why are okay, why the fuck would I skip the ad? I've cri I've been quite critical of people doing that, okay? And I admit, I've done it sometimes when it's some shitter and it's whatever, right? <laughs> but like, look, I try not to do it because it is a shitty thing to do, okay? Especially when you're fucking reacting to someone's video. 
So yeah, I'm not going to skip the ad. And in fact, if someone if someone fucking says to skip the ad, I'm going to pause the ad and talk for 20 minutes next time, okay? Men and boys struggling. And what should we do about it? A few new studies have come out that have shown that young men are more lonely and single than ever before. But it's not just men. The women and children, too. It's predicted 45% of women will be single and childless by 2030. But according to the media, this is a good thing. The economy is booming. As oh, no. Well, I mean, to be fair as well, like this video, she's clearly comment. Like, what people have done is some people have gone, oh, my God, but it's everyone that's lonely. Everyone. She addresses it in the fucking video. It's so clear that so many people haven't even watched Shu's video and are doing the classic, which is looking at the thumbnail, going, what does we mean? And freaking out about that, rather than actually engaging with the, you know, the merit of what she's saying. In fact, there was someone that did this on Twitter. For some reason, their account got suspended. I don't know why. But um, basically, their original tweet was something along the lines of like, oh my God, look at this video about men. I can't believe they're saying this in a society that doesn't cater to women. It's men, men, men. And I was like, you know, these people can't fucking possibly contend with the idea that men have got issues without bringing, without thinking of and bringing up women. And then the very next tweet was, well, I did not watch the video. I appreciate if it was like a fucking four hour massive piece you might not necessarily want to engage with it. But this is a fucking 20-minute video. How the fuck are you not going to watch a 22-minute video and then have such strong opinions about it? Whatever happened to don't judge a book by its cover? What happened to don't judge a book by its cover? We need, like, don't judge a YouTube video about its thumbnail and title. Obviously, it's so stupid. As they say. And meanwhile, men being single is treated like this. New study explains why some single men are having a hard time finding a new partner. Some of the music that they listen to speaks very derogatory. Right. Yeah, men, stop listening to that derogatory music. Then maybe you won't be single. I don't know, I think men and women being single and lonely kind of shows there might be something wrong uh, with society. Perhaps we should address this, not just wave it off as empowering or pathetic. According to several different articles, I love how that's my source, I read about it on the internet, research shows that people from individualist countries show a greater sense of loneliness. This is linked to socioeconomic development, increased education, a shift towards white collar jobs, and urbanization. Japan also has an issue with loneliness. Yeah, I mean, um, when I used to work in an office, when I was single, when I worked in an office, you would, you would go to the office for the day, you would do your day's work, you'd finish at five, six o'clock, you'd come home. Normally, if you're single, you either live in one of those places where you, you share, but maybe you've got your own room and you don't spend much time with your housemates. Maybe you live alone and you just <laughs> jerk off. No, not jerk. You go, wait, no, wait. This is, the go this is why people are doing goon caves. This is why people are doing goon caves for this reason. I thought the goon cave was like a lack of self-control. And yes, somewhat it is. Sure, it's still fucking degenerate. Is men's loneliness leading to goon caves? Something to think about, okay? What is a goon cave? Go to r slash goon cave. Be warned, it's very disgusting. Anyway. I'm sure you can relate to this, right? You've got an, like an office job, right? Obviously, you go there and you speak to people, but that's work. Then you leave, you go home, and you fucking sit in your room for a couple of hours, play video games, watch a movie, whatever. You go to sleep, you wake up, you go to work again, right? This chick is built like a character from Whoville from the Grinch. Thank you for the bits, Pans. Loneliness. In fact, they have a whole movement of people they call the Hikukomori. Did I say that right? I don't care. Basically, postmodern hermits. Mostly young men who completely oh withdraw God. from society, secluding themselves in their rooms for months and years at a time. In 20. Yes! This is where the goon cave started with these Hikaguri people.
2010, there was an estimated 700,000 hikikomori in Japan. And today, it's estimated to be about 1.55 million. And because of things like this, people aren't having babies, so Japan's population has been in a sharp decline since 2011. It's gotten so bad that Japan even produces videos of live-action women staring into the camera to help the hikikomori learn to cope with eye contact and re- this can't be real, man. This can't be fucking real. There's no way! Everyone, look. This is your, this is your state-mandated female attention learning how to look in someone's eyes without going insane. Okay, look. Everyone, look now. Look into the eyes of the person. Do it. We integrate them back into society. So basically, if you want to know America's future, look no further than Japan. A lot of people, including myself, blame this partially on the rise of social media and technology. RIP to the king. Although technology makes things easier, it can also make us more atomized. Why go to the mall when I can just tap, 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 buy a new microphone and have it shipped to me in a day? Why hang out with friends when I can get all my social interaction I need from Twitter and streamers? Why go oh, on no. dates and bother meeting women when I- Oh no. <laughs> How many people in chat is this relevant to? Be honest. No, there is definitely a problem. And, you know, obviously, I don't, I don't know how to deal with this. But, you know, I obviously would say, once you've got your subscription sorted, obviously, do go outside, you know, don't. In fact, to be honest with you, I've only ever had, I've had one instance where someone has been really weird. I've had a couple of instances, I guess, where someone has been, you know, been weird about it, you know? I think most people, like, might drop me a DM and I respond, we have a quick chat and that's fine, you know, whatever. That's just kind of a normal thing. But you get some people that, like, do think that you're their friend or something. And there was one guy and he spent, like, a ridiculous amount of money in a very short space of time. And then he was messaging me, trying to get me to download some video game. To play, to play with him. I was like, no, 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 I'm not already into that. And then something happened in my Discord, some disagreement about some sort of like, um, uh, like piracy thing, some sort of piracy. He took issue that someone in my server had like this, the system set up where they were watching movies that downloaded or something. And they messaged me about it and were like, oh, it's like Rust, but the um, Viking, ver the Viking version of Rust. Valenheim, Valenheim. There was Valenheim. Okay. And the thing is as well about it is like, I I'm laughing about it. I feel bad because the whole point of this video is like lonely guys and stuff, you know. I don't know what this person's deal was. But they were like, oh, you've really got to download Valenheim. And I tried to be polite and I was like, no, I'm not really my cup of tea. And he was like, no, you don't understand. This is going to be the next big game. You should play it on stream. There's going to be massive fucking updates and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe, maybe I will. And he follows up with me and I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, you know. And then eventually I'm like, nah, I don't think I'm going to do it. Thanks for the offer. Just to confirm, just to confirm, you're definitely not going to do it though. Definitely not because I'll pay for it and everything. And I was like, fucking hell, he's then on, on a bit thick, you know. And then when he had this issue in my Discord, he took like great personal offense at the fact that I didn't really care about the fact he does some disagreement. He sent me these long fucking screenshots of people talking about pirate fucking movies. And it was just like, I, I, okay, I don't, I don't think anything's happened that's broken the rules. And that was basically it. But clearly this person was trying to form some sort of connection with me, you know, beyond streamer viewer or something like that, you know? <laughs> I'm going to be on YouTube soon. 30 minutes, I'll be, on, I'll be leaving to go onto YouTube. I'm not naming the person, okay? I obviously feel a bit awkward about it now. Because I don't, I don't mind people want to, you know, message me about a topic or something and have a brief chat, but, you know, I think, I think that some people want to really forge a connection with the streamer. And I just think that most people, that's not going to happen, is it, you know? I had the inverse happen once. A streamer invited me to the personal friend group Discord. Things were kind of awkward after that because I wasn't super hanging out in Discord.
and I could just tap, 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 Google big boob and get two million results. Or see my high school crush's holes on OnlyFans for only five dollars. Instant dopamine, instant satisfaction, yes, and hey, who even needs a real woman when you could just have an AI girlfriend? We're f***ed. We're so f***ed. Dating apps really are the great Satan, and I'm convinced they've completely broken men's brains. Women on dating apps are picky. Oh my god, Women in general true. are picky, and I mean, naturally we are pickier. You know, we're the ones who carry the babies, at least for now. But on dating apps, you have to admit, it's a little insane. It's okay, what was this? Babies, at least for now. But on dating apps, you have to admit, it's a little insane. How men rate women. Jeez, look at that curve. And I think this kind of trend is across the board for dating apps where women have got a lot more selection and choice. So they'll be a lot more picky. Men are less picky, but it means that. And also, I think there's often more men on dating apps too. So it's basically a sausage fest, right? So it means that the cream of the crop, and that could be looks, that could be like presentation, it could be the way you've worded your fucking bio. There's lots of different factors that go into it. So when you look at stuff like this, you can understand why people just give it all up, really, you know? I've had both good and bad experiences on dating apps. And when it's good, okay, it's great. You're having a great time. You're talking to people, stuff like that. When it's bad <laughs> and there's not many people biting, it fucking sucks, you know? And now I remember Tinder used to be really generous with what it gave you. It gave you like loads of swipes and stuff like that. And then as it became more money hungry, the experience got worse and it puts you into a position where you feel like you've got to spend money to get something out of it because they started to like, you know, they started to like restrict the amount of amount of um, swipes and things like that. So it would get to a point where you're like, okay, well, I've run out of swipes now. What am I going to do now? And it just puts all this pressure on you to want to buy the fucking product, you know? Tinder went from being like a good, useful app, a social media kind of app to being just a basically a money funnel. It fucking sucks now. Yeah, exactly. I haven't used it for ages, but the last time I did, I was like, this is fucking garbage, you know? But um, but yeah, I think that dating apps are kind of a, a, a well discussed. And do you know what's do you know what's really annoying about the dating apps conversation too? Is women will be like this. They'll go, Well, when we go on dates, we might get raped. What's your problem? And I think if that's your concern, it's fine to be concerned about that. But it's much rarer. It's obviously more severe, but much rarer that you're going to get raped versus what is just the reality of the day-to-day -day experience for a lot of men on dating apps. It's not as bad as being raped, obviously, but it's a lot more common. It's a lot more common that you have these shitty experiences as men on dating apps, right? Women have got problems on dating apps. And if you look at the way that women interact, they, you'll see what it's like from their side. They basically have a problem of the opposite, where there's, it's excessive messages from people that are just sending nothing. So there's not really anything to discuss or grab onto. So they're kind of wading through a sea of people desperately trying to find someone to talk to that they're interested in, right? So they've kind of got the opposite problem. But it's like, yeah. But that's kind of like, in some ways, a problem some men would want is way too many options. So, yeah, I just I feel like there's a real sort of difference in the experiences where women are using dating apps, men using dating apps. Some of their concerns are extreme but rarer. Men's concerns are more common, not as bad, but it's more common. So it sucks. Do you see what I mean? So, yeah, I just I feel like the dating app conversation is really cancerous when it comes to like trying to express the experiences of men, you know? It's the difference between someone having infinite shitty food versus someone starving. Yeah, it's like having a uh, you know endless endless undercooked meals that aren't dangerous but just a bit dis um, not pleasurable to eat. Yeah, something like that. Insane. It's safe to say that the commodification of love and the window shopping of dating apps probably has to do a lot with the rise of lonely single men. Men are not just lonely when it comes to dating, they're lonely when it comes to friendship too. According to Vox- Oh, the other thing, the other problem with dating apps too is dating has become such a throwaway dynamic now, okay? Dating is such a throwaway dynamic that you'll have this, this thing 
where it's like people will like go on a date, right? And then they're on fucking Tinder like later. Yes, I've been guilty of this myself, certainly. Okay. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm innocent in all of this, but it definitely promotes, the gamification of it definitely promotes this mentality where, you know, you want to keep using it, you want to keep going, you want to find out if there's someone better out there, you know? So if you've got a guy that maybe isn't getting many hits on a dating app, they manage to get someone, go on a date with them, they have a good time, etc. Um, you know, you know that that fucking woman's probably straight on Tinder right after the date, you know? Americans are currently in a friendship recession, and men are being hit the hardest. The percentage of men who reported having at least six close friendships fell in half since the 90s. One in five men no. say they have no close friendships. Looking at all these statistics, the explosion of figures like Andrew Tate is not surprising at all. I believe being a man is a blessing because it starts so different. I believe that every man is born without any value at all. I think that the world's never going to think you're important unless you make yourself important. And recently, so this stuff here is like super man is born without like obviously you've got like the jets and stuff. All. I think that the world's never going to think you're important. So obviously, some people look at that and focus on the jets and the cars and stuff like that. Some people just want this. Some people genuinely just want some lads to hang out with and have a bit of banter and a laugh with. Do you know what I mean? It's like this is what they crave. People think it's always. The cars, the money, the girls, etc. Some people just want this. I just want to play with the bar. And some people just want to hang out with the lads. That's it. And and Andrew Tate, you know, has that element, right? So some people look at it and it's like, oh, you like the fact he's a misogynist. You like the fact... I'm sure some people like the misogyny, okay? I'm sure some people like the fucking whatever. I'm sure some people like the rapes, for example. But there's some people out there that are just lonely guys. All they want is a bit of fucking, you know, brotherly love, so to speak, okay? Important unless you make yourself important. And recently, a new study came out about how young men are moving towards the right. And every other month, we, the liberal, sockdom, leftist, whatever you want to call the space online, performs the same song and dance. Yes. What's wrong with men? Why is this happening? Why don't we have a leftist Andrew Tate? We need to push men to the left. Andrew Tate rarely, if ever, talks about politics. Yes. Andrew Tate oh my God, I said this the other day. I said this the other day. Everyone views him as this right-wing guy. And, you know, I get that. I appreciate that. But he himself never is like, I'm a right-winger. Come over to the right. The right-wing wing has got all the right answers for you, you know? So it comes across when you come up as a lefty and you're like, we've got to bring people to the left. It comes across as very cynical because it's like Andrew Tate is, uh, you know, doing this without mentioning the politics shit, right? He's not even talking about the politics of the right wing or the left wing. Some of his takes naturally kind of skew more to the right. And some cases, you know, quite far to the right. He's the knock about Tommy Robinson, for example. Anyway, the point is he doesn't make it about right wing, left wing. Okay. He just makes it about, men he makes his politics is men okay and then people like surprised when men are fucking drawn to him you know god it's so annoying it's so fucking annoying how people would... so if you want to do this you cannot do it in this kind of cynical way of oh we've got to bring people to the left like i said earlier just talk about fucking shit that men are going to find amenable and, and they'll be drawn to you regardless of this narrative we got to bring people over from the other side you know talks about men, and the left only talks about men when they talk about Andrew Tate. A few months ago, during one of the monthly song and dances, some progressive people I follow made the mistake of addressing men's issues, and the even bigger mistake of pointing their finger at their own spaces. Oh, I know this guy, Sid. The reason young men flock to the alt MRI movements is because the left gives brain dead advice to young men. We need to be more compassionate to them for our own sake. We're not doing enough to address said men's issues. Recently, there were some statistics by healthcare company Cigna indicating that Ooh. men are the loneliest generation. And addressing it doesn't mean that you turn your back on issues pertaining to women, but it does mean that we should be focused on what it is in society that is leading to this epidemic, what the left can do to offer solutions, and how we can basically fight we back against earlier. the more nefarious figures who have filled the void 
uh, that you know men are struggling with, people like Jordan Peterson and what have you. Now recently, uh, Vosh, who's a popular streamer, had tweeted this thread that I think is really, really important to address. He writes, I cannot stress enough how important it is to understand that 12 year old white boys on Twitch are not being pulled into fascism because of some Machiavellian desire oh, to preserve and expand wow, their privileges. Wow, wow. It's because the right talks to them and the left doesn't. The responses to these tweets and this content were very normal, level headed and respectful. Me when I lie. Mayo, cry about it. Boo f***ing who? Oh no, poor widow men having problems. Boo f***ing who? Grow the f*** up then. Have men considered- People like this would cry fucking bloody murder if you even joked about not being concerned about women's issues. They would fucking cry bloody- they'd be spitting feathers about it, right? It's so unbelievable to me. The shamelessness of these kinds of people, you know, where if you in any way joke or mock about their struggle, Oh, yeah, fucking, you know, you hell to pay, you've done something terrible. But when men go, hey, we got some fucking problems we want to sort out. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's boo fucking who. Problems, boo fucking who, grow the fuck up then. Have men considered being smarter? I'm enjoying all these sad little moids and their sad little tweets about their sad pathetic lives. Sounds like a personal problem. Is the lack of compassion for men in the room with us right now? Wait, what are you complaining about, Chad? It's the ultimate giga Chad. But it's not, is it? It's fucking safe edginess. You know, having a go at certain social groups is fucking verboten amongst the left, okay? You cannot have a go at certain social groups. So the ones you can have a go at, you really have a fucking go at them, okay? You really have a fucking go at them. Straight, white, male, okay? Straight, white, male. Those are the three groups it's acceptable amongst the left to have a go at, okay? Maybe Asians. Maybe Asians, but we're pushing it, okay? Maybe Asians, but we're pushing it. Straight white men, you're good to go. Any combination of those, you're good to go, okay? Look at how white gets used as a precursor to make it okay to have a go at minorities it normally isn't, right? Trans people, oh no, stop. Oh, sorry, I meant white trans person. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. You're fine. Gays, oh no, homophobic. Sorry, I meant white gays. It's fucking obvious. It's so obvious to anyone that's paying attention to this shit, you know? But yeah, honestly, it's pointless trying to convince these freaks. There's nothing you can do to convince them. There's only one solution. There's only one solution left. Right now, maybe men are just not good people then. I'm so fucking tired of people trying to make male loneliness a huge societal problem. Yeah, no, their fifis are not my responsibility, and I shouldn't have to be punished because they can't get their shit together as human beings. Grow the f Apply this logic to any other fucking social group, okay? And look what happens, man. It's fucking, un it's unreal. And the thing is, is yeah, I just don't accept, oh yeah, it's Giga, it's Giga, yeah, they're Giga Chad until you start talking about, you don't give a fuck about rape. And then what happens? They lose their fucking mind, don't they? You know, it's bullshit. Fake Giga Chad, safe, edgy bullshit. Up. Why are we trying to win? And also they mean it as well. They mean it. They're not fucking around. They're not joking. They mean it. They're serious about it. These entitled little predators over. The left isn't for them. That's why they go right in the first place. We're all lonely and alienated. The problem is when people talk about feminism, they say it will help men, but it eludes them that helping men would also help women. It's young men going to the old- Yeah, that's the biggest thing of all. It's like, they just go, oh, feminism helps men. How does it help men? Um, well, you see, we get rid of the patriarchy and that's good. It's so stupid. I fucking hate that. That- ugh. What is it? Why does it have to be? And also, just optically, that's insane as well. Optically, that's fucking insane too, you know? Why not just say, okay, we don't necessarily need to create, like the men's rights movement stuff has been a bit cringe. I agree with that. Like some of the stuff they've done is a bit cringe, but there's some fair points. We don't need to go down that route with it. We don't need to say, oh, we need a fucking men's rights advocacy or something like that, right? We should be a bit more open to discussing some of these issues without freaking the fuck out and acting like we've been fucking raped because men are going, oh, actually, we've got a couple of problems we want to talk about and look at in, a, in the social space, you know?
right in droves. The problem isn't our messaging, it's them. It's literally not our problem. Men flock to Andrew Tate not because they're lonely. Wait, did you see that as well? Them. It's literally. We don't need to appeal to incels. First of all, the idea that men talking about this are incels is ludicrous. And secondly, why not? Why would you not want to appeal to incels? Again, it's this fucking woke Thatcherist bullshit where people act like incels are not products of their environment like fucking anyone else's, you know? Absolutely, you should be considering how you might want to, you know, if you genuinely think they're in some sort of harmful, toxic ideology, why would you not want to sort of help them? It doesn't make any fucking sense. Really not our problem. Men flock to Andrew Tate not because they're lonely, but because they're bigots. Hope this helps. Nah, it's just misogynists being louder than before and not getting laid. LOL. Cry harder, Lou. Oh my god, who is this? Obviously, she was censored it, but I, uh, I'm sensing a lot of soy emanating from this particular profile picture. Losers. 90% of all homicides recorded worldwide were committed by male perpetrators. Let's, uh, run that back, okay? Let's, uh, let's, 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 let's calculate those figures again, but instead of basing it on gender, perhaps we can base it on some other... <laughs> wait wait but obviously that is you know lefties will recognize now finally the statistic thing and how it's product of environment etc etc but the idea that men commit all these homicides no it's some fundamental aspect to men also this person is probably a bit uh i got some other takes as well that are particularly favorable to we me. We should just get rid of all males, to be honest. This includes trans women, as they still retain male violence. By the way, you know the Tumblr feminists who were like, all men are sexist and rapist, male tears, penises are evil, blah blah blah, back in the day? Well, this is them now. Should have just let me cook back then. Listen up, chuckle f I'm white, socially awkward, autistic, in my 40s, ugly, overweight, crippled, got a weird balding pattern, and have bad skin. You know what I didn't do? Choose to become a fascist. Because I recognize most of the sort that look like me are the problem. You I do not choose. You do not choose to become a fascist. That's not how it fucking works. What do people think? They wake up one day and go, I've had enough of these fucking blacks and Jews. I'm going to become a fascist. Again. Again. People become who they are through complicated influence of different social factors and stuff like that, okay? People can make bad choices in life that leads down certain pathways and stuff like that. But the idea that you just choose to become a fascist, that's a moral failing, is crazy, you know? Does someone who grows up in a household of fascists that ends up being a fascist at 18, are they morally culpable for that happening? Like, to me, no. Like, that's obviously an insane circumstance to be born in. Anyway, also, here's the other problem with that too. What's so wrong with being a fascist? I may be hideously ugly and pathetic, but at least I'm not a fascist. Thank you for your input, buddy. You're, uh, really helping the situation. The reason young men flock to alt-right MRA movements is because the left gives brain-dead advice to young men. We need to be more compassionate to them, for our own sake. I'm sorry, but how is respect women brain-dead? He's sucking. <laughs> Literal soy nod shit, man. Fuck me. Advice. What advice? Don't rape? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's one of my favorites. Yes, that is the, the uh, you know, the totality of the less advice is respect women and don't rape. That's exact. Bang on the money. The conception that these people have of what the left says is so far from reality. It's fucking laughable. Don't be a rapist is bad advice. Help, I have no friends or community. I feel suicidal. Um, have you considered not raping? Act like a decent <laughs> fucking human being. It's not hard is brain dead oh. advice. Brain dead advice like get consent and don't be a Nazi and women are people. Walking up to men struggling with loneliness and depression like kids, don't be racist. <laughs> Incredible. Here's my actual advice I would give to my teen boys as a leftist. One, always get enthusiastic consent. Two, save the planet. 
Three, don't say that. It's actually kind of racist. I tell you what, right? I'm glad that the left doesn't have kids, either because they're fucking bed blobs, uh, you know, that never go outside and never fucking... <laughs> they never leave the house. They're never going to fucking meet anyone to have a kid in the first place. That's point one, okay? Point two is they're fucking, uh, you know, sterile. A lot of them are sterile. A lot of them are, lot of them are sterile. <laughs> okay, no way. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, okay. The point I'm trying to make, and no serious, I'm fucking around, obviously. The point I'm trying to make is... This kind of mentality is so far removed from what it's like to be a parent and what you're concerned about, right? <laughs> because the thing is, yeah, obviously, it's great to get enthusiastic consent from people, okay? However, and you want to try and eliminate as much as you can the chances that there's going to be even like awkward sexual interactions. But I'm not saying that you could rape. I'm not saying you could sexually assault. But part of growing up is understanding and getting to learn these social dynamics. And part of that is making mistakes, right? Making mistakes is an important part of learning, right? Now, obviously, I'm not saying go to someone that's asleep, drunk, and fuck them. I'm not saying fucking rape this person, rape that person, rape that person. All I'm saying is it's all very well thinking you're going to be able to put across certain sentiments, and you will. Um, but this doesn't actually stop the issue from happening, does it? Like just saying, oh, you should get enthusiastic consent. How does that actually help the issue? You know, there's much more fundamental issues baked into that whole concept that go beyond just telling someone to do something. Like what the f*** is this? How does this address men and their issues? It doesn't. Why does their advice always seem to be become a liberal? Hey men, here's how to fix all your problems. Agree with me politically. Men flock to the MRA movement because they're the largest beneficiaries of MRA shit. Imagine saying women flock to women's rights activism because they're the biggest beneficiaries of women's rights. Like, no f***ing shit. Let's be honest. Aside from procreation purposes, men have become obsolete. There's no way, man. There's no way. There's no way. Look. <laughs> like that's unbelievable that is unbelievable god self-hating men are some of the most disgusting people i fucking can think of honestly most women can find other methods of achieving orgasm without a man there and speaking as a man most of us are horrid to be around and i don't blame any woman for just saying no thanks oh my god dude this is what every just pearly things tweet looks like to me. Just with the gender swapped. This is pathetic. You know what fixes male loneliness? Jerking off. As a man, I'll say this. Oh, we got a goon K. We got a goon. Pathetic. You know what fixes? We've got a goon K fan. With the realization that slapping human flesh together isn't worth it. It brings disease and unwanted pregnancy. Also, attaching yourself to a mother and child for the rest of your life. Get a hobby. This guy's gonna be in a goon. This guy is gonna fucking. <laughs> Who's seen the movie The Lawnmower Man? Who here has seen this? A bit of a fucking niche reference, okay? There's a movie called The Lawnmower Man. It's based on a Stephen King short story. It was so far removed from the short story, they changed it, right? But at the end, there's this fucking disabled fella, and he's got giga brain because of these injections he's been getting, okay? And he gets, like, sucked into a computer. That's the basic end of it. He gets sucked into a computer, okay? That's what's going to happen to this guy. He's going to be gooning so much, he's going to get sucked into his pornography, okay? And he's just going to be in the fucking multiverse, constantly being stimulated by endless pornography forever, infinitely. That's what's going to happen to this guy. This male loneliness? Jerking off. As a man, I'll say this. Sit down, shut up, and beat one out. You'll feel better. I promise. Yeah, guys, just beat one out. Just off. Just watch porn. Batman will be very disappointed in all of you. It's so funny how men feel entitled to a girlfriend. No, you sexist freak. When one side is like, wanting a girlfriend is sexist entitlement, and the other side is like, here's how to get a girlfriend. I don't- I don't know, bro. What happened to males just kicking the bucket? <laughs> Kill yourself! No! <laughs> what the fuck? Now they just come on here and try to make their loneliness and misery into some social justice issue. Oh, trust me. Men are still kicking the bucket. And when they're not giving mind-blowing advice like just to be a liberal, they're outright dismissing these issues completely. Just die. It's not our job to educate them. 
since men created the problem, they need to take steps to fix it. We have other things to care about. Men can figure out their own problems that they created. Again, it's not women's jobs to change how men are socialized. It's a man issue and y'all need to address that amongst yourselves. Men created their own problems. Men can solve their own problems. The left is busy. Why does the well-being of other people concern me? Leftist, by the way. It's all systemic issues and societal factors yes. and blah 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 until yes. it's a man and then suddenly it's Pull yourselves up by your bootstraps. Yes, this problem exactly. is just a consequence of the patriarchy. Now take a wild guess about which gender created the patriarchy. Solve your own problems and leave women alone. These people rightly mock the bootstraps rhetoric until the subject is a man and then it's bootstraps all the way down. They would never talk about any other group this way. It's wild. And it's yes. kind of like both sides are talk telling about the men blacks. to- Mention the blacks. Mention the blacks. Pull themselves up by their bootstraps. But one is like, I'll show you how, and the other is like, f off. And when they're not telling men to straight up f off, they're giving the 200. As long as, as long as the criminal hasn't raped or committed sexual assault, okay? Because that is obviously, you know, something where they'll also just say m kill them, okay? Generally speaking, as long as there's not a rape or a sexual assault involved, someone could be the most hardened fucking criminal, right? The most hardened criminal, causing misery upon a city by endlessly robbing different people. Okay, and lefties will find every fucking excuse under the sun to do this explanation of how it's socioeconomic issues and blah, 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 which, by the way, I do agree with. Okay, but they'll come up with all these reasons as to why we should in no way personally denounce this person and should be more sympathetic towards them. Literal fucking hardened criminals committing fucking crime. Okay, we will find every excuse under the sun to be sympathetic to them. But a man with man's issues that is just there lonely and fucked. Oh. No, all of a sudden, no, that goes out the window, okay? Yeah, you know what I said about that guy that robbed fucking 50 grannies? Yeah, forget all of that. None of that applies. Fix your own fucking problems and pull yourselves up by your bootstraps. An IQ answer that nobody has ever heard before. Just show your emotions, bro. And I'm not dismissing this problem, okay? I've, I've made videos talking about this. Oh, you're crying at your grandfather's funeral? Okay, f*** it. And studies have shown <laughs> that men Jesus. are scared to be vulnerable, Yo. even around the homies. And can you blame them when the media says stupid like this fellas is it woke to open up to your fellow men and discuss history men are socialized to believe strength dominance and stoicism are behaviors of a real man is it any surprise that men are lonely and have less friends nowadays you Ooh, have to be Hunter vulnerable to take. make friends don't tell me there aren't systemic problems affecting men now while a lot of this may be true men have been socialized this way for centuries and this is all relative trying to avoid referencing recent drama I'm trying to, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do it, isn't that? You could do that if you want, chat, but I'm trying to take this seriously. ...a new phenomenon. Toxic masculinity has existed forever. If anything, there's less toxic masculinity nowadays. The cultural embrace of, like, gender nonconformity, femboys, Harry Styles in a dress, Barbie movie, blah, 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 blah. My point is, toxic masculinity did not just appear in the mid-2010s. But social media did, and the internet did, and the rise of dating apps did, and the housing crisis, and living in a country where the wealth inequality is worse than it was during the Gilded Age. That all happened recently. Oh my god, the privileged life these poor little boys must have that their biggest problem is being lonely, i.e. so insufferable that nobody wants to sleep with them. So much more pressing than the poor distribution of wealth causing people to suffer food and housing insecurity. Boo-hoo, you're lonely and have no friends and are suicidal, wah. Because feeling alienated under capitalism apparently isn't a thing. People are working harder and longer while wages have been stagnant, men have been dropping out of college like flies, and what does that get you? Poor men. Which, since women are doing amazing in college now, and many are now out-earning men, this most of the time leads to single men, which then leads to lonely men, which leads to depressed men, which leads to the high suicide rate. In my opinion, leftism at a policy level does a great job addressing the shitty material conditions that in part lead to the problems that men are facing, but then absolutely Stop drops him. the ball when it comes- Stop, you're gonna- have listen, don't- Shoes, stop, you're gonna upset the libs, come on. You're gonna upset the libs, calm down, okay? The libs are already started to- To everything to and anything related to men's cultural issues. Many such cases. And why would a struggling man even want to move left when the left appears actively hostile to them? The question of whether or not- OH! Fuck me! You gotta put a warning! You gotta put a warning where you're gonna put Mildred up on the screen, okay?
You gotta put a fucking jump scare what a content warning. Come on now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like one of those things where it's a normal video. It's a like, fucking thing jumps at you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Wait. Was didn't we cover this video once? Uh, is it there? <laughs> The hashtag online left as enough to appeal to hashtag men has become the question du jour. And like, men have most of the money, authority, and do most of the murdering and assaulting. The average young man in America isn't Jeff Bezos. Also, why did this motherfucker just FBI crime statistics at me? Men do the most murder, okay? They like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. They like that. They, they want it to stay that way because it suits them. Because of the stuff? Telling people they're special. I'm telling you, right? I'm telling you. A lonely guy, right, just sat there minding his own business, right? He feels sad, he feels lonely, bit upset with life, doesn't know what's going on. Comes across this fucking Mildred's Thought Slime video, right? They would watch it and instantaneously go outside and commit numerous rapes just off the back of watching this video, okay? I'm telling you. I'm telling you, that's what would happen. They would just feel their situation is so hopeless that they've got no choice but to commit. <laughs> no, I didn't know which way I was going to take that one. I went down that route. But no, no, in all seriousness, this is just so toxic and fucking, you know, to, towards any, like, imagine if you were a dude watching this as a bit sort of uh, non-politically affiliated or something like that. You're a bit confused, a bit lonely, whatever. This is going to completely fucking turn you off, isn't it? You know? Men are also more likely to be murdered. Like it's like it is saying women are more likely to than men to lie to the police about rape. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? More more men of murder victims, right? Anyway, I just thought slime has got this really kind of you know despicable. Not only has it got this kind of despicable appearance, okay, which is off-putting in and of itself. He also has got a very kind of acerbic, horrible person. He, like he's a very rotten person at his core, and he dresses it up as this kind of like, oh, I'm woke and I'm nice and I care about the LGBT and all of this stuff. But he is truly fucking rotten to his core with the way that he engages and talks about things, you know and deserve all the nice shit that they have, that's gonna be an easier sell 10 times out of 10 than like saying, hey, maybe you should have less stuff and other people should have more. Leftism is when you don't have a lot of stuff. We're gonna take your stuff. You sound like a 65 year old Fox News boomers idea of what the left is. Are you a CIA agent? The right is saying to men, you will own a house. You will have beautiful children with your loving wife. You will have privacy. You will have free speech. You will own things and you will be happy. And the left is like, they like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. But don't get me wrong, Republicans will not do shit. The Republican party will not do shit. The establishment in general will not do shit. To all these retards on the online left need to live for a month in Pakistan or something to get a clue about life and what matters help any of this but the right is at least rhetorically offering men something other than nothing or the eternal hr department every time this discord yes. comes up there's people like we need a leftist andrew tate we need masculine role models on the left but the fact is it's hard for progressives to organically appeal to men because a large part of progressivism is oppressive hierarchies and men are oppressors. Making progressivism look appealing to young men is an uphill battle from the start. And although it's funny to laugh at insane people on Twitter, as always, there have been a lot of left-wing content creators talking about men's issues. The it other problem as well is like there's this constant, so you get some like male influencer types and they're not even net, like Andrew Tate, obviously there's a very contentious conversation there about Andrew Tate and I get that he's a very contentious figure, but put him to one side for a second. There are some people that do talk explicitly only about men's issues and, uh, you know, they focus on that self-betterment and stuff like that. And they get called like right wing. Like there's this whole there's articles that have been written about like this idea that, um, you know. Like talking about the idea of working out is some sort of right wing aspect. I don't want to, you know, that's we're not quite right, but there's definitely this kind of mentality that self-improvement is some sort of right wing thing which I just think is really stupid. 
I just hate that. I hate the way it's been politicized so much that a dude can't just come out and be like, oh, hey, here's some issues facing men. Here's some ideas that I've got about how to solve it without it becoming this political football where it's like, oh, well, he's a right winger. He's on the right. We need something like that on the left. Where there's plenty of people out there who probably aren't that concerned with the party politics, right and left shit. They just want to talk about something they feel is relevant to them, but they immediately get placed in the right wing camp. It just seems so stupid. If you would have told me this would be a thing nine years ago, I would not believe you because anyone talking about men's issues back in the day was called an MRA or a pick me. But lately I have seen a lot of good pro-men lefty content and I'll put some links to some below. I don't agree with all the points they say, but I recommend watching. It's much better than... They like having all of the stuff they don't deserve. But the issue is a lot of this lefty pro-men content, it's always framed around how do we get them? As if men are just yes. pawns and tools yeah. for your personal politics. How do we make the left more appealing to men? How do we stop lonely men from moving to Andrew Tate? Instead of just, how do we help men? And I think that's a really big issue. Both sides seem to treat men as political fodder. Disposable soldiers in the culture war and real war. Anyway, misandry is real. Oh good, finally. And while it doesn't systemically affect cis men, it most certainly affects trans men. Oh my god, man. That's sickening. That is fucking sickening, man. <laughs> so you're saying that trans men aren't men then? You're saying that trans men are interesting. Interesting take. So trans men are not in fact men, it would seem, according to you. Oh. Y'all talking about misandry doesn't harm men, and trans men are right there reading this shit, by the way. I see, now we only care about misandry because it affects trans men. Everyone stop! It's affecting a group I care about now. I love how the rhetoric just like... <laughs> evolved overnight from male tears to cis male tears and i just have to ask why aren't you including trans men in your misandry hmm Ooh. nobody told me how lonely being a man is we knew what de depth felt like before we transitioned we knew what it felt like to like have people want to hug us and to have people want to talk to us and wow. have a community and then you transition and you're just a guy walking down the street that people cross the street so that they're not near you and friendships are so much harder to build and what's hard is none of this invalidates how real and raw women and people who are in marginalized groups feel about cis white men all of that's valid but I okay okay right i was feeling bad for this uh this person but now i've changed my mind i also now understand why the suicide rate is so much higher in men welcome to being a man here's your complimentary isolation and yellow pillow i love how even when he's experiencing the issues of being a man he's like this doesn't invalidate people hating yeah, men. Jesus, Come on, bro. Man. men struggling don't want to be lectured about the patriarchy they don't want to be told it's all their fault. They don't want to be told they're part of the problem because first of all, they're not. The average 20 year old didn't build society. They go to work, True. come home, f off to sissy hypno fetish porn and go to bed like everyone else. I've talked about this before, but a lot of men's value comes from the money they make, unfortunately. Men are natural providers and if they have nobody to provide for, they get into findom or send random girls on the internet money. I'm just kidding, but the fact is, a lot of men simply feel like they don't have a purpose anymore. Whether a job or a career that's fulfilling and pays well, or a woman or family to protect and take care of and provide for, men are lacking purpose. Yeah, I'm, on, I'm gonna be on switching over to YouTube shortly. Um, and if you're interested in Sissy Hypno, this rape review I'm gonna do, just, Come and check it out, okay? And a man will crawl through a broken glass for a purpose. But you know who does make them feel like they have a purpose? No, 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 not him. I say that life as a man is exceptionally difficult. I say the most beautiful and the most terrifying thing about being a man is you're born without value. Society doesn't care about you. The absolute audacity to act shocked that Andrew Tate yeah. is scooping these guys up after a decade of lol male tears is insane. Andrew Tate isn't the solution to men's problems, but he is talking to them. The fact is you did not care about them for years, and even now you just want to recruit them, not help them. And that's why you will fail. And hey, maybe I'll be the Andrew Tate of the left. Men, listen up, wash your penis. So I guess I'll leave you guys with a question. Why do you think male loneliness has been increasing? What are your solutions for this problem? And are you dealing with loneliness? And I will see you guys next time with a new video.
That was a great video. I'm honestly, I'm honestly shocked that uh, you know it got such a. Well, I'm not shocked at all. People just looked at the thumbnail and freaked out because they're retarded freaks who can't engage with anything beyond a single second of looking at it on Twitter and freaking out. But yeah, that's a good video. Strong recommend. Oh God, I need to switch over to my YouTube stream. Okay, I can't. I can't read the comments. I'm sorry. By all means, go and check them out. But uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's not much more to say. People freaked out for no reason. Once again, same discourse, different day.